Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can install a linter into your project. Now, Atom offers a great way to easily and quickly install a whole bunch of different linters based on the way you want to actually lint your various types of code, and it actually works really, really well within the Atom interface itself. So let's get going on that right now. Now, if you've used Sublime Text 2, one of the pain points you know is occasionally linters. Now, I've had a lot of issues with either linters not working reliably or just sort of being a pain to install. Now, linting is one area where I feel like Adam really got it right. There's the Adam linter sort of grouping of packages where you can simply type in linter hyphen and then whatever type of linter you're looking for. For instance, if you're Using PHP, you can search for linter-php, and at the top you'll see linter-php is by Adam Linter, linting PHP. And we can select this and see that all we really need to do is install this. And maybe there is a little bit of setup, but for the most part, they're really easy. So let's go ahead and install one of my favorite linters, which is JSCS, JSCS, and after this searches, it should find linting JSCS. Now, JSCS is a type of JavaScript linting. If you select this, uh, the title here. Now, if you select the title, it's going to open up the GitHub page for JSCS linter. And it's basically a code style checker. JSCS is a very particular style of code checking and one that I happen to like. Well, if we come back to Atom, we can just click the install button. And you'll see that it is, in fact, installing our Atom linter. And now, as you can see, uninstall, disable are there, so our new plugin has been installed. Now, if I open up just a standard uh, sort of JavaScript file here, this is actually a Meteor Blaze file. If I save this, you can see instantly upon saving, without having to refresh or restart the application or anything, we're already getting linting information. Down here at the bottom, it says I have 26 issues. Now what's nice is that first it tells you which linter found the error and whether or not it's like an error or maybe just like an issue or something. So JSCS found the error. If we had like JS hint in here as well, it would say JS hint next to it in addition. So you could actually distinguish which linter is actually giving you the error. Now it also underlines it and when we select that line, it tells us that one space is required after the if keyword, okay? So obviously this is an issue causing code to work correctly. This is an issue of style. When I hit a space there, you can see that the underline is now gone. In addition, it wants a space underneath this and it wants to get rid of that white space. So as you can see here, we can certainly come through here and correct these issues as we find them. Uh, so it looks like we're missing a, and as you can go, you can see we can just go through and uh, change these little JS CS things that it likes to see CS linter is happy. Now in addition, let's go ahead and just add another uh, JavaScript linter. I'm just going to type in linter hyphen JS and see what sort of comes up. Now I typed in hyphen hint because I'm looking for JS hint and here it is, JS hint. Let's go ahead and add that JS hint linter and you'll notice there's linters for SAS. There's linters for Jade. There's linters for all kinds of things. And it's really nice to just have these in here because they just sort of work, right? And so we have the settings here and we can modify some settings if we need to, but let's just go ahead and save our file once more and see if we have any issues and see if we have any issues coming up. Now, JS hint is gonna do more of looking for actual errors in our thing. It's not just going to be looking for stylistic things like JSCS is. And you'll notice that when I deleted this bracket, we're now getting some yellow errors down here. And what's great about this is that we have these red and this JSCS label here. But next to this, it tells us that it's JS hint. That way you know that if we're coming here, uh, something's not right. It's expected this. Well, why would it be expecting that? Oh, well, we must be missing something here. And now we say this, it's going to have errors still because it added double brackets. But when we get rid of that, you can see all of those yellow issues going away. And it also adds sort of a yellow or red or just different sort of marker here in the gutter. So as you can see, you could run multiple uh, hinters and linters at once. 
And you can run all sorts of different linters for your different technologies as well. But as you can see, it just has this little window down here. Uh, if we were to clean all of these up, now another nice thing is you can jump to an issue by clicking on its line number right here, or if you just click this 22 issues, it's going to go to the next issue down on the list. So really, this linting system is really uh, as good as it gets for this kind of text editor without getting into more of like an IDE or something like that. But linting in Atom is super nice. So check it out. Uh, go to your plugins and just really search for anything you want. So as you can see, this couldn't be any easier. If you want to have access to the rest of these Atom videos before they're released, you can always head to store.leveluptutorials.com and purchase them or sign up to be a Level Up Pro and have access to the full catalog of the Atom videos before they drop on YouTube. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, if you comment the video, hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.